Welcome to Kramer Control Tutorials. My name is Tom Copen, engineer at Kramer Electronics. In this video, we will discuss how to upload a KCONFIG project file into a Kramer Master Controller. This video is important because many times the person configuring the system is not always the person installing the system. This video assumes that KCONFIG has been installed on your computer and you have received a KCONFIG project file or KPR file from a coworker. If you are not familiar with what Kaganfig is, please see previous videos in the series for a basic walkthrough. The first thing you want to do is get Kaganfig open. Once the program is running, you will want to open the project file. This project file will have a .kpr extension. You can do that by clicking File and then Open Project. Now you will need to find the .kpr file on your computer. Once you find it, Click on it and open it. KCONFIG will confirm that the configuration was loaded successfully, and you'll notice the configuration file load on the screen. Next, you will need to connect to the Kramer Master Controller you're using. The Kramer Master Controller will be the device in the project with KNET ID 1 in the Project Navigator. In this example, you can see my Master Controller is in SL12. To connect to the controller, you will need to press the Connect button. The two methods of connecting to most Kramer Master Controllers is via Ethernet or USB. If you are going to connect with Ethernet, you need to make sure the IP address of your PC is set to the same subnet as the Master Controller. The default IP address for all Kramer Control devices is 192.168.1.39. That means that your computer's IP address will need to be set to 192.168.1. a number other than 39, since these two devices cannot exist on the same network with the same IP address. If you're going to use USB to connect to the master controller, you will need to first install the USB driver on your computer for the device to be recognized. For this example, I will use Ethernet because I find that it is a faster connection. So I'll enter the IP address of the Kramer controller, in this case it is still the default, and press connect. You will know you're connected because under status it will say online. If you are having trouble connecting to the controller, you can always factory reset the device back to default by holding in the default button on the rear of the controller while you connect the controller to power. This will reset the IP address of the unit back to default. Be aware that a factory reset will also clear any configuration that is currently stored in that master controller. Now that you are connected, the next and final step is to upload the configuration onto the device. You can do this by pressing the Sync to Device button. You can watch the status bar as the configuration loads. For the sake of time, we'll speed through this part. After the write process is completed, you will get a confirmation message. But that's it. The write process is now completed, and your controller is ready to be used. To learn more about KCONFIG, please check out our other videos in the Kramer Control Tutorial series. For Kramer Electronics, I'm Tom Copen. Thanks for watching.